Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and Merry Christmas. Um, I'm looking forward to another Christmas tree puzzle. Um, now, just before I have a go at that, obviously there's all the good stuff on Patreon. Um, three brilliant, well, no, sorry, two brilliant things posted this month. The Tracking the Cryptid puzzle hunt and the Modern Art Sudoku pack, but also my easier puzzle from a few days ago. Also, of course, on the main channel, we've just posted two unusual videos. Simon did the GCHQ sort of Christmas card puzzle yesterday, and I've done a an advanced cryptic from the Magpie today. So loads of interesting stuff going on. And of course, our apps. Uh, it may be too late for the merchandise to arrive in time for Christmas, but you can, of course, buy the apps and be using them immediately. So uh, the killer's proving very popular and Frankly, the others have never been anything less than popular, so good news there. Now, what's going on with this puzzle from Simon Trucci, whose first time it is setting a puzzle? Um, well, I love the image of the tree, it's brilliant, but we have some X sum clues outside the grid, and they spell, as it were, 25 12 2020, Christmas Day this year, or if you're American, you can go the other way around from the 12 12 25 2020 very flexible year 2020 is to do that although in every other way it has been most inflexible um now those are x sum clues as i say that means that the first cell they see from that direction is considered x and the number outside the grid is the sum of the first x cells from that direction including the x so if this was a five those five cells would would add up to 25 um, now, these baubles or decorations on the tree have special rules. For the red ones, they're in the middle of a run of three cells, which include two cells that add up to the other one. Now, it could be in any order. So this, for instance, could be 2 plus 3 equals 5, or 5 plus 2 equals 7, and we would not know where to put the 2 or 3 or the 2 or 7. And of course, there are other combinations possible. The blue cells work the same way, but running down. So they're for columns. Um, now clearly the two has to be in the sum, but it could be adding with one to make three or with three to make five, etc., etc. Um, and there's one final rule. The green is not um, just decorative. There are, each digit appears as many times in the green cells as in the white cells. There we go. Apparently all these rules are necessary and sufficient to solve this puzzle. Do give it a go on the link below the video. Um, I'm a little afraid because I hear it's quite hard, but I'm going to try it now. Let's get cracking. And OK, let's start with that last rule. If there are as many versions of each digit in the white as the green, I think that has to be four each in white cells and in green. So that is, yeah, that's 18 cells on the left, 18 cells on the right. So there's 36 whites, 36 greens. So that's a set of one to nine, four times in each. And therefore the red and blue cells must be a set of one to nine and we can fill in a three straight away. That middle bauble must be a three because it's like an extra region of red and blue. Now, how do we use this special decorations rule? Let's have a look at the X sums. This 12 can't be a 2, so it could be 3 or 4. If it was a 4, the sum would be made up of 4, 1, 2 and 5. The 1 would be here, that would be a 2, 5 pair. It is just possible. There are more versions with the 3 though. Now the 25 can't be a 7, that would be too many. Three would be too few. It could be four. Again, I think four is a bit difficult because these three would have to add up to 21 without a six or a four. They'd have to be nine, five, and seven. But it is possible. Five is a bit more likely. Here, three is possible for the 20 if it had eight, nine after it. 21 is too many, so it can't be a six. Same's true here. That can only be four and four. Five. Ah, five would require these two to add up to ten. Four. Four would require these two to add up to fourteen, and they can't do that. Okay, so we've got a start here. 
why can't this be a 4? Because then these four cells would add up to 20, including 4 and 2. That would leave 14. These can't be 8 and 6 because of that 8, and they can't be 9 and 5 because 9 and 5 are already in box 5 and can't be here. So that's a 5. These two do add up to 10. They can't be 8, 2, or 3, 7. They could be 4, 6, or they could be 9 and then 1 there. Now, how would that work with this, with this 3 and the rule? Oh, that can't be a 6 under the rule, because this would have to be a group that can add to each other. 6 and 3, 9 is not possible. 3 and 3, 6 is not possible. So that can't be a 6. That can't be a 4. This can now be 1, 4, or 7. Hmm, okay, that's something. Um, now, where do we go next? I don't think there's any negative constraints. We can't use those. Okay, I guess I've been putting it off a bit. Let's have a look at these rows and columns with two clues in two clues pointing the same way. So I mean this row, this row, and this column. Let's have a look. Okay, just take them in order. So nine, ah, nine can't be made up of five and four because of that five. And now it can't be three and six because they're both looking at that cell. So it could be two, seven that way round or one, eight either way round. Now the five, could be a total of 1 and 4, or 2 and 3. Or you could add the 5 to 3 to make 8, or to 1 and 2, 1 or 2 to make 6 or 7. So quite a lot of possibilities there. Um, okay, in this row... Oh, actually, it's quite constrained on the 7. If it's a if that's the total, it's a total of 2 and 5. You can't use 4 and 3 or 1 and 6. If it's not the total, it's adding with 2, because it can't use 1, to make 9. And again, that's got to be there. So 2 must be here. Another digit in the grid. Um, right, if this is 2, 7, 5, 4, 1, 3, 6, 8, 9... This would have to be 9 and 8. They're the only consecutive digits left to go with the 1. 3 and 6 would be around the 4. If this is 2, 7, 9... Oh, these are 5 and 6 then. With 3 and 8 here. And there's definitely a 3 in one of those cells. Um, but there's not definitely anything in one of those. Okay. That's interesting. Right, now, this 6 and 4 column. Right, this 6 could be 1 and 5 added together. What goes with the 4, then? 2, 7, 8, 9 are left. Oh, there's no possibility there. OK, that's interesting. So 6 plus something is the other thing up here. Can't be plus 3. 6 plus... 1 is 7, 3, 4. So you'd have 2, 5, 8, and 9. You'd have to have 5 and 9 around the 4. So that would be 6 plus 1 is 7, with 5 and 9 around the 4, and 2 and 8 in these two cells. If it was 6, 2, and 8, 4... Oh, the 4 would still go with 5 and 9, so that's definitely right. Ah, and you can't put 1 and 7 there, which would be the, the remaining fallout from 6 going with 2 and 8, because then you couldn't fill these two cells. They can't both be 4. So, this is a 2-8 pair. That's not a 1. That tells us this isn't an 8. And what's ruled out of here? 6 seems... Oh, 6 and 4 are ruled out of there, are they? Hang on. 5 plus 2 is 7. 8 minus 5 is 3. 5 minus 2 is 3. Yes, only 3 and 7 are left.
Oh, no, 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 they're not both left. Because if this was a 7, oh, that's rather pretty. If this was a 7, it would go 7, 5, 2, 9, 7. Two 7s in the row, not allowed. That's a 3, which doesn't resolve that cell. Okay, but now, now let's look at this 8 up and down. It can't, it could be 8 plus 1 equals 9. It can't be 3 plus 5 equals 8. Now we've got that. It could be 1 plus 7 equals 8 or 2 plus 6 equals 8. Oh, 6 is interesting. 6 is very interesting. 6 is definitely in one of those two cells in the middle box because it can't be anywhere else. So it's not there. That can't be 2. So We've limited the possibilities there a bit. Now the only one we haven't looked at is this 2, which frightens me a bit. What can that be? I mean, it could. what I mean is it could be anything. It could go with 1 and 3, 3 and 5, 4 and 6, 5 and 7, just. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really want to deal with that at the moment. It's too open-ended. Um, oh, can we use anything else though? Oh, look, we can use this beautiful cell with six, seven, or nine as its possibilities, and that is ruling out four from there because that was specifically going to have to be four, one, two, five. So three goes with it, doesn't go with nine, it doesn't go with six either because that would need that to be, um. Yeah, that would need that to be a 3. That's not possible. 7, 2. Yes. 7, 8. That must be a 1. Now 1 must be in those cells, and they must therefore be 1, 3, and 4 by the rule. Okay. Um, so these are from 6, 7, and 9. 2's up here somewhere. This is now a 6-7 pair. 7 in this box is definitely in one of these two cells. Yes, I suppose that's obvious because it had to be in one of those two. Um, Now what, though? We've looked at virtually all those. Oh, this. No, 6 and 4 or 9 and 1. They're both possible. Um, this X some clue. If it was a 3, that would be 3, 8, 9. That would have to be 5. That 2 would have to be surrounded by 4 and 6. That would be 7. This would be 1. If it was four, oh, it doesn't constrain that much. Now, all or fill those five, twelve. No, it's not very helpful at all. Oh, what about this other rule about the greens and whites having to have the same number? Is there a digit that it's? Yeah, I worked it out. It's got to be four white ones, four green ones, and one on the bauble. So, is there a digit like three appears twice in the green for definite? There's another one there, that's three of them. Yeah, but there's a lot of possible cells for the fourth one. Oh, look at one, actually. One has to be there. And one is there, and one is there. And that's quite a lot of... Oh, I'll tell you what's going on here as well. Look, there's a 2-7 pair in row 8 and 9. So 2 and 7 are there. And now we know what all the green cells in this box are. Without knowing where they go, these are from 1, 6 and 8. So they definitely include a 1. So now... No, I haven't got all the ones. One, two. Yes, I have. I've got all the ones in green. And that means this cell is not a one. My 
Goodness, that's obscure. Now, how about sevens? One there, one there, one there, one there. That's all the sevens I can handle in the green. So that is not seven. Oh, that's pretty. And seven is here. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, there's actually not that much play between these competing items. Now, as yes, this must have sorted out what this cell is. Seven, nine, two, eight. Don't forget all the clues. They all work together here. Um, how could that be? S oh, no, it's not working with that. Oh, bother. Oh, I can't resolve those. Two set. No, I haven't done this either. OK, but. Well, it's quite interesting now is that there may be other numbers that I need to study. I may need to study ones that are ending up in white. Ah, oh, look, yes, actually one and eight. That pair is one and eight. This can't be a two. That's a four, six, oops, four, six pair. Two is there. The four, six pair makes that a nine. I can do six there. Look at all these numbers. That's a five. Ah, and that's turned up in the green. Is that useful? I don't know. Maybe it's not, because that's in the white. Fours? No, there's not... M Ooh, or maybe that's a problem. There's not many fours in green. There's going to be one here. There's going to be one here. But no other box can have a four in the green except that one and this one. So that can't be a four. It's got to be in green here. Oh, this is weird. I almost have to study every digit. Six here. Six. Yeah, one of these is a six. This box is very done. Oh, but I don't know what goes here. Oh, it's weird. Right. What about this? Can this still be a four? Because that was going to need five, seven and nine. Four, seven, five, nine. Yeah, it can be. Four, seven, five, nine, six. Oh, that's annoying. What about this? Can it be a three? Three, eight, nine, seven, two, seven, four, two. Five there and a one, six pair. Oh, no, this two. Sorry, this is one of these clues, isn't it? So three, two. Oh, well, that can go with one or five. Four can go with six. This cannot be a nine, though. That's just not going to work. How about nines in the green? Just sorry, I will come back. Oh, well, if that's three or four, we've got a three, four pair. Three, eight, nine, seven, four, two, five, and a six, one pair. Four, seven is 11. These two would have to add up to nine, with, and that's a three, so they'd have to be one, eight. Four one eight seven three two. Uh, that well five nine six is a triple down here. Oh no, seven three two five because of the two rule nine and six. Or five with a seven there. There's a one three four triple six nine eight at the bottom. Ah, oh, they're all possible. That's so irritating. Right, now I've forgotten what numbers I've worked on in the green cells. So, oh, I see, actually, look, look at these bottom three rows. Well, they're quite interesting. They obviously 
obviously there's only one of one, four, and seven in the green in those rows because it's in row seven and not in row eight and not in row nine. So one, four, and seven each appear once here. So one makes up its numbers there. Four makes up its numbers there and in the top. So one of those is a four. I might as well mark that in um, because I need to know that. Seven, one there, one there, one here. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to highlight that. And one there, they're all done, okay. But, okay, what I was gonna say then was of the other digits, whatever is here appears three times in green in the bottom three boxes. So this is either five or nine. Oh, and its fourth one appears here. And I think, oh no, one of them appears three times. I was gonna say that means five and nine go here. Okay, it doesn't, but if it's a five here, then there's a five here, a five here, that five, and five has to be on the white up here, which would be here. But if this is a nine, there's a nine, well, in, in that one, a nine there. Um, then there can't be a nine here. Because there's, yeah, there's a nine, the fourth nine is here. So if that's a nine, that's a nine, that's a nine. That can't be, so that's a nine, so that's a nine. Oh, so if it's a nine here, nine now appears, well, it will appear there as well, but it must also appear here, well, actually here, because there must be one here too, but never mind about that. If it's here, this sum is 398. It can't be the four or the five. So nine here would give us a three there. 398, 742. That would make this a five. Oh, I don't know what this means. Oh, there might, there might be a problem with threes then. There is a problem with threes. Look at these cells I've highlighted as nine. If these yellow cells are all nine, which is what happens if this one, if this is trunk of the tree is nine down here, then look at the threes. One in green, two in green, three in green, four in green, and that's become a three, so there'll be a fifth in green up here. Oh my God, that's insane. If that is the intended path, good luck at finding it. But it proves this is not a nine. What an incredible puzzle. Right, five there. So now these are, five must be in one of these. So that's a five, six pair because of the rule. That puts a nine here. Take six out of these cells. I'm also going to remove the corner mark. Now, two, seven, five, four, three, eight. This is a nine flanked by a one, six pair. Seven, two, three. This is five. We've got a four, eight pair here. Eight there and there means there's an eight in this pair. Does that mean this is a three? It certainly means it's not a five. It's three or four, but it could still be four, eight, one, seven, I think, yes. Or three, eight, nine. And whichever way, we've got a three, four pair. We've used eight, this is one or six. And I mean, I suppose this is a, a one, three, six triple down here. Two, seven, five, this is four, eight, nine. We can remove some of those. Wow, this is so complicated. 
brilliant puzzle in many, many ways. Now, ah, oh, this two. Yes, we can finish that off with a three here. Ooh, that might have been a bit simpler if I'd... Now, I've only just worked out the five there. So that puts nine here, four there. That fixes the eight, four, and the eight, one. And that puts a three down here. And it doesn't... Yes, it makes this a 4. So now we know this x sum. This is 4, 8, 1, 7. Uh, this is a 6, and we can do the whole of boxes 7 and 4 there. Right. Now we've got a 3, 6, 7 triple here. Gosh, I mean, are we going to disambiguate these two boxes? I suppose this last x sum clue has to be helpful in some way, doesn't it? But wait, have we really finished off? Ah, oh, we must know what goes in the white cells because we know everything else in green. Okay, so greens are, that's one set of one to nine. Um, four, three, six, eight, seven, one, five, nine, two. That's two sets done. Then two, nine, three, eight, five, six, one, four, seven. And we've got three, five, and six in green that are not on green in this box. So that is a three, five pair. Ha! Oh, in fact, we know which way around they go because of the five below. So there we go. That's not five and that's not three. Now I really want to be careful here because I do not want to mess this up now. Um, now that three, that might sort out some of these pairs. It certainly does that one. Ah, oh, and it doesn't do any others. Eight, let's take out these pencil marks because they're not helpful. Now eight is in one of those. Nine is in one of those two and four, but we just don't know where they appear. So the rest of the puzzle, I sincerely believe it's gonna come down to this 25 clue now. Oh, this is such a strange puzzle. Right, now, can this still be four? Four, seven, five, nine. Then it would go six, that would be three, two, eight, one. Oh, that is possible. But can it be five? Oh, look, we've got a four, five, six, triple down the far column. I didn't expect that. Uh, but that takes four out of there. No, that doesn't. That's a use. This is a chocolate teapot triple. No good at all. But... These are from 1, 8, and 9. I know that by that triple. Right, let's... Sorry, I've been putting off trying this as 5, 6. If that's 5, 6, that's 11. These three are 14, which is such an average number for three digits. Um, can that be 9? Then these two can't be 1, 4, but they could be... It could go 9, 2, 3... Five, six, seven. No, it can't be nine, two, three, five, six, because that won't work. So that is not nine, because these can't be one, four, or two, three. Okay, well, that is knowledge gain. Oh, no, that's not nine if this is a five. But if it's a four, that specifically is nine. Oh, ooh. and that did work. Right, so be very careful. <sighs> what? Ah, oh, hang on. One of these... One of these is a one. Yeah, one of these is a one. So there is no one in this sum. So if this is five and six, we need to make up 14 with two of two, three, and four and one of nine, eight, and seven. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, ah, I'll tell you what it means. 
Where's the one in this row? Yes, in fact, the, the simpler way of looking at that is I've locked a one into one of those cells and into one of those cells. Where's the one in row two? It's got to be here. That gives me an eight here. That places eight in box two. And that feels reasonably significant. Now, if this adds up to 25, with that being a five, these add up to 20. We already know nine of them. These would have to add up to 11. And there is no way of that happening. So this is a four. What a puzzle. I say it again. I mean it again. And my goodness, this is not what I was expecting when I started this puzzle. Right. Now, this we know. We've worked this out a number of times. Four, seven, five, nine, six, eight, one, two, three. That's a nine. This is five. That's not three. I really am trying to be careful here because I don't want to mess this up now. Six. Two, that's a naked single two. This has to be nine because it can't be four because of that pair. That's going to give me this chocolate teapot. Triple is all resolved. Now that eight, oh, hang on. These aren't ever going to resolve. Oh no, I'm about to break down in tears if this is right. If this is right, I think I've got a deadly pattern across five rows. And therefore, it's probably not right. Let me try and see why it's not. Now, this 25, this has worked. 11, 16, 25. This 20, that's worked. This, ah, oh, that's going to resolve the deadly pattern. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so happy now. I'm so Christmassy now because my pattern is going to be resolved by the last X sum clue. Five, six, two, three. Add up to 16. That's a four. Oh my. Ooh, that was not what I was trying to do. There we go. One there. Six and seven there. Seven and two there. Two and four there. What a puzzle, Simon Trucci. That is brilliant. Um, I keep not calling you Simon because there's another Simon in my life. But uh, that is a fantastic... Well, I mean, it's a really hard puzzle. Well done if you had a go at that and completed it. And if you didn't have to find all the steps I did, I'm impressed. Um, but I'm actually even more impressed if you did find all the steps I did. That is a clever puzzle. Um, thanks very much for watching us as always and uh, Merry Christmas to you. Hope to see you soon. Bye for now.